it's Jude and today I'm going to be talking about all the graphic design projects I made while I was in a graphic design course in high school and I made all of these during my graduating year and we're just gonna go through all the projects that I worked on. One of the first projects is uh, it was like an inspiration board so we had a bulletin board and what we were assigned to do was kind of just like make a cork board that represented us and the things we liked so I put mine I put like pictures of artists I admired and then I put in like my like class schedule and like things that I liked and made it look like it was like an actual bulletin board and I think I did well on it I really like how it turned out and really it was just to like as a practice to see if we could like work with Photoshop and like use like the selection tools and that kind of thing. The next one was this. This isn't really that interesting. It's just a bunch of selection practices to see like various ways we could make selections and like edit out from the background. Then we moved on to typography which um, this one I didn't do that great on to be honest. I used the quote that I always use. I really go by this quote from Meet the Robinsons, keep moving forward. And I love this quote. I don't know why. It's just really motivating. And I grew up watching Meet the Robinsons as a child and I found it really inspirational that made me think like, wow, if I can just keep moving forward in life and I like think about that when I'm sad or anything, just keep moving forward. I did that for my grad cap too, like the quote's just everywhere to me, so who knows, I don't know, I kind of want to get like a tattoo of it on my finger or something, that'd be really cool, but I'd probably get in trouble or something if I got a tattoo, ooh. The next thing we worked on was kind of like advertising and making like posters and promotional things. So we made a poster for a fake Halloween party event, and I really like the way I set up my poster and in the back I used a um, kind of custom brush that looked like bloody handprints in the back and then I had a hand coming out of a dirt out of the dirt like a zombie and then I wrote the slogan of the party Halloween party on there and then on the sides there's just the information that was part of the criteria and yeah, I'm I'm very happy with how that one turned out. Next is one of my favorite projects. It was the celebrity magazine that we did. And we had to pick a celebrity and then do a kind of like magazine design based around them. And since I love Marvel and Spider-Man, you guys, I don't know if you know my obsession with Spider-Man. Here are some examples right there. Yeah. <laughs> So I chose Tom Holland as Spider-Man for my um, magazine, sorry I can't talk, and then I added in the Spider-Man Homecoming logo in the back and I lowered the opacity a bit so it wouldn't like be so bold. And then I added in like the text that was like required in the criteria. And then I used the font Lemon Milk for Celebrity because my sister suggested it. Lemon Milk is like her favorite font ever. And when she saw my magazine, she was like, you need to change the font. So I did. So shout out to my sister for having a good taste in fonts. She's really good at graphic design. She's taking it next year. So this assignment was like a practice to replicate a magazine. It's called, so it was just like, we had to replicate this magazine ad. This is the replication that I did and I don't have the original photo of the ad but this is what the ad looks like when replicated in graphic design class so that's mine. We started doing compositing and I hated compositing. I had a hard time trying to figure out how to use masking layers in Photoshop. In this class we mostly worked with Photoshop and Corel Draw. For during this class and I really had a hard time with like figuring out all the masking layers and all that and so one of the first ones we did this one as a class it's a girl kind of like 
looking off on the trail like railroad tracks so that one that one was a bit easier to figure out because it was like a follow along and the teacher was showing us how to do it and the second one I did it was this guy in the woods and I added like fog and I tried to make the shadow monster guy in the back look a bit more realistic but I don't know it wasn't working out I just didn't like the overall composition of the piece and I think I could have done a lot better but I really had a lot of trouble figuring out masking layers and how to put things behind one another and like organize it in like such a way I don't know it, it's just not my thing I didn't really like that part of the unit another assignment we had was an event poster and for this one, I made a poster for a concert that happened where I am. So Khalid was going to uh, have his Roxy tour and pretty much was the opening act. So I made a pretty much related poster because they're one of my favorite bands. So I did the illustration myself in Photoshop and then I kind of like took their logo and then like Put it on the poster and just arranged it and i used like a blue and white and yellow color scheme and then i did it in like kind of like a the, i drew the boys in like a doodly type of style and i think i really like the way it turned out i think the colors match up really nicely and i'm really proud of the illustration that i did one of the next unit things that we did was Coreldra, and there we learned how to make logos and stickers and I made a lot of stickers actually I'll show you them in a second I have them with me so here's some of the stickers that I made so if you don't know I really love the anime My Hero Acad Academia Boku no Hero Academia I'm really bad at pronouncing things but yeah here's this one we learned how to like kind of use the program and I got used to it right away. It was really fun to like learn how to make stickers and logos and stuff. And little Naruto. The next project we were assigned to work on in Corraldra was logo design. And we had to make our own kind of made up company. And I've always wanted to create my own like apparel. And I really hope one day I'll be able to do that. That's one of my goals as an artist to use my art and my work and turn it into like clothing the assignment was to make variations of our made up brand logo and these are what i came up with here my company brand is called cosmic apparel and so after that our next assignment was to create t-shirts and for this i took my brand my fake brand and i made some logo designs to go on to my shirt so I designed some t-shirt designs for cosmic apparel and this is one of them I got to print it and I'm really happy with how it turned out we use like this um press thing and I'm and it was really interesting to see the laser printer like print out the um corral draw like they put it on like this printer transfer paper and then we use this big heat press to uh, use the big heat press to like attach the image onto the shirt and I think it turned out really nice so this is like one of my favorite projects so far and I get to wear it I'm thinking of like producing these shirts as like a design and also the other design the rocket design that one was also popular as well I was thinking of selling those for like around ten dollars or whatever so if you are interested, let me know. I'd love to try selling these and make Cosmic Apparel like a real brand. That'd be so cool. One of the second to last assignments was typography. And it's like when you take like text and then transform it into a picture. And I did mine again on Spider-Man. No surprise there. And I took quotes from like the Mar Marvel Cinematic Universe so I took quotes that he'd said in movies and in the comics and I turned it into typography art. I don't have a picture but I have this here with me. So this is what the final product looks like. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it turned out really well actually. I'm really proud of it. I spent so much time on this you have no idea. 
but yeah I think it looks good I don't know if you can tell like if you can read the words or see the words I'll have to take a picture of it or like do like a close-up of it so you can tell but yeah that's the typography this took me about five or six classes so that's like six six hours yeah yeah it was a long time but I think it turned out well and I was able to print it on like this gloss paper and I need to find a frame for this because I'm tired of getting fingerprints all over this but yeah so his hair is made out of like the spider-man theme song and the rest of his skin is like quotes and I'll insert a picture and tell me what quotes you can see in this like one of them is like I got homework so it's like I can't go to Germany I got homework and I put in the, one of the Mr. Stark quote in there if you can find it yeah tell me if you can find the quote in there but yeah so that was the second to last project Oof. my graphics teacher gave us a lot of freedom for our final graphics project and I had the idea of doing playing cards, custom playing cards. I designed them front and back and I illustrated and designed everything and I'm really proud of how they turned out. And I did, I made like, okay, so here's the story. So at first I was like, I'm gonna do a whole 13 playing cards because there's like 13 members and 17, so like 13 playing cards, yeah. And my teacher thought it was so cool. So I made the first suit of cards and he was like, this is so cool. Let's make all 50... How many cards are in a playing deck? Hold on. I got it. It's, it. There's 54 in a card, including the Jokers. Because I did the Jokers because Sang Kwan... No, yeah. So I made Sang Kwan the Joker. Anyways, if you don't know who 17 is, it's a band I really like. So I'm going to insert like each of the individual playing cards here. There's 54 of them, so I'll only, I'll only show you like an example for like one of each. Cause I don't know if you want to see all 54 cards, but yeah, so here they are and I'm really, really happy with the way they look. I worked so hard on it and it took me a long time because I had to like take each individual card and put it on a template in Corel Draw to make them all fit to the right size. And then I also had to design the background and I designed the back side too. And then I had to print them and I had to laminate them and I had to cut them. It was, it was a lot of work, but I think it was worth it. Cause like, I think it looks great. My family was like, you should sell these. And I wasn't sure about that. I was kind of skeptical as to whether or not anybody would buy these. And here's the back side of the 17 card. I wasn't sure if anybody would want to buy these cards, but you know, maybe. Do you want to buy these cards? I was, I have the files of all these cards still. If people want them, do you guys want some 17 playing cards? I don't know if anyone who watches my videos listens to 17, but you know, if you have a friend that likes them, hit me up and we can talk about making you a set of these but really it'd be nice to like sell some of these because like I feel like people would put these to use more than I do like I just like to look at them I'm afraid to like actually use them in a game of cards because I don't want to like wreck them because look at that would you really want to like risk it I wouldn't I really I don't know <laughs> I don't know but yeah I would love to sell these, you know? I feel like people could like play with them and be nice to see other people using them. So yeah, so those are all the projects that I made throughout my year in graphic design and I'm really looking forward to my next graphic design course in university and I'm kind of nervous because I have to buy a laptop and that's like a lot of money. <laughs> I look forward to all the creative opportunities that I'm going to have, so yeah. That's it. And also, if you do want to like have any of these, like if you want like one of these cards like individually or like as a set or like the shirt design, DM me. I'm thinking of actually producing these. Like I want to start cosmic apparel and I want to like sell my artwork. That's one of my goals and as an artist and I'd really like it if you'd support me 
and I don't know. It's just be like a startup project. I don't know. I haven't even opened a store yet just because I'm not confident in like my like ability to like sell my work. But you know what? I'm going off on a tangent. I'm going to end this here before I keep going on forever. But thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. From your